and uh, hello friends uh, good evening and welcome to today's book club i really like this idea a lot to share this amazing knowledge and uh, about me as it uh, currently i'm i'm living in germany originally from andhra in uh, india and i started meditation in the year 2009 or let's say i, I re rediscovered um meditation and um i was very curious about the healing benefits of the meditation and uh, at the time i was suffering from um very strange headaches and eye pains um which i really <laughs> have no i have no idea about it and um several let's say it it all started um when i started meditation uh, experimented on this meditation let's say for 5 minutes and uh, within one week um very strangely <laughs> at the time um i started getting healed um through inside so this really gave me a nice motivation to further continue on this uh, path and um, the more then i discovered through meditation about um, also inner journey and meeting new people meeting uh, master patriji and um, yeah since then it was really it, it became a way of life and uh, i understood more uh, like it, it it has to do more with healing only later and um i and understood the importance of meditation and after coming to germany um thanks to masters madhu and ram i was able to um uh, join the regular sessions and also conduct sessions in the beam meditation family so that's a short introduction about myself so today's um minaj shall we start the book directly or please yes yeah so today i would like to share with you all um one of my favorite books um soul lesson and soul purpose i hope i hope you can share see my screen yeah yes we can see yeah, yeah. so yeah i mean this book have has been with me for quite a quite some time but um i i i didn't i know i never could really finish this book and uh, only from time to time um i checked in but um i i believe like every book has its own <laughs> timing and uh, whenever you need it the most and um when um, madhuaka asked me to uh, share some new knowledge in the beam family then i i found this book again uh, lying somewhere in the corner and uh, that was the motivation to read every 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 week a new lesson and assimilate the ideas and share with um uh, fellow masters so that's how um, i really learned a lot about this nice book so this book is a channel material by um by an author sonia chukwit and um she has also other, other she she has other books as well and um so um th this book is channeled by her guides called um the emissaries of the third ray um i'm not really sure about the origins of uh this these great beings or these great gu guides but the message is very very amazing and um i want to although of course we cannot share the entire book <laughs> i want to share um the important parts and um how the book is um, organized and uh, how to use the how to use the book and um you might all know the this amazing cute movie <laughs> the soul um um who ever in watch i really recommend to watch this soul movie by pixar mo pixar studios it's also quite related so um so what do the guides say um in this book they start with the introduction that earth is a soul school and um we are all here for um for basically learning um these these lessons and um it's not like a prison or um it's not like a punishment or sin or hell 
but rather it's more um, to discover ourselves as um, not just physical beings, but um, spiritual beings, mastering um, these lessons one by one. And they also say that um, everyone um, from on, on any, any level, they, can, uh, they are ready to follow these lessons or instructions. And they divided this as 22 soul lessons divided into um, two, yeah, two parts, which I tell later. And um, they tell this is a, this is a time to raise our vibration, uh, learn and recognize these lessons. And uh, the time is now uh, and uh, nothing, no time to be wasted because um, the events, the world events, um, how they are going and um, it's much important for all, us all to raise our vibration. So I see, I personally see this book as a manual for all of us, like a curriculum, if you say, and um, it's fully practical to apply these lessons. And um, as I said, the, the curriculum is divided into two parts. So the first part being um, dismantling your fa false ego and uh, false ideals, uh, recognizing you are, a, you, you are a soul, first of all. And um, the second part deals with um, uh, uniting with your higher self and um, also um, become the best divine expression that you are meant to be. And um, so, so then this book starts then with uh, each lesson and um, in each lesson, it's the same common way that um, each, each soul has to progress uh, through four different stages. That means um, student, apprentice, journeyman and uh, master. So student, um, here they say that um, who is someone uh, very new to the concepts that they are presenting and uh, some concepts are really shocking and completely, uh, let's say destroys their worldview. And um, apprentice, someone, apprentice is someone who, who understands intellectually and uh, who might recognize, yeah, I, I heard about this somewhere um, that makes sense, but um, it's very, very hard to practice. And uh, so they, they don't have this in their practice. And um, journeyman is someone who is trying to live the lessons or, or most of the lessons. And uh, they, are, they can understand with their hearts uh, that, okay, uh, this, is, this really rings a bell in me. And um, this really makes sense. Um, and, and they start living this and they start benefiting by, uh, in the end by practicing, it becomes a, yeah, they are really nearer. And the final stage is a master who has mastered these uh, lessons. And, um, and then they, of course, they will teach to others um, that these are the truths and this is the way of being. So this is how each and every soul lesson is, um, is progressing um, and um, within each soul lesson, the author explains, or first the, the emissaries, they channel this amazing knowledge uh, right to the mind, um, I mean, right to the point, uh, very crystal clear. And um, after that, they will say, um, who, like you can see in which stage you are. And they also say, you can't be the master of all. Uh, <laughs> And you might be student in some, and you might be journeyman in some, you might be master in others. But um, since a soul, a soul keeps on reincarnating and um, finally finishes the curriculum. So with that, the first part is, um, I said the first part is learning to use your creative power, uh, which are again, divided into 11 lessons, right? And um, I will just go quickly one, one lesson by the other. As I said, like you, you will all know these lessons and um, most of the ones are not new, but these are quite good reminders and uh, they are 
very uh, they're put together um, in in an amazing way. So the first the first uh, lesson is immediately they will start with um, you are a divine immortal um, being. So this is quite very powerful um, to start with. First of all, uh, recognizing yourself as as the divine divine force or, um, or or the soul right like not just a physical being or not just mental uh, being or um, not just emotional but um, recognizing yourself as a very bigger part and um, the, it shifts your perception completely and uh, not just recognizing yourself uh, of the false ego that your mind is trying to tell. Um, so here, of course, they will expand what does it mean? What does it mean to be divine immortal being? And um, so once you get, recognize this, the second soul lesson is uh, you are a co-creator with the divine. So now you, you are part of the divine, of course, and you're also a co-creator uh, with the divine, this is also this might also be not new for any of you, but it's good like how they are laying step by steps. You 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 play a bigger part in uh, in everything, like like every one of us. So uh, we are co-creators of our reality as well as the mass reality as well. So that's why it's very important to raise our vibration. That's what they try to stress in this lesson um, that we have the power to um, influence the events. And um, the third one is creation begins with thought. So now um, you are the co-creator, but how to co-create? So this now begins in stages. Um, you are like you all heard, I mean, learned from different sources, right? Like from Seth, you create your reality, your own reality, your law of attraction. Um, and um, here they explain again that you, when you are in alignment with the divine law and um, you create, um, and you create, you are the co creator. Uh, but you can, of course, you can also be unconsciously drifted away. Um, by this chaos of the world. And uh, you also then create um, in a different manner, create very unconsciously. And uh, every uh, every event of our life is and the, and this the unconscious creation that we don't even recognize. Every thought that we are just generating will then manifest, manifest into reality. So they really um, tell here, be very careful of your thoughts and uh, become more aware. And um, yeah, that's what meditation is about. More aware, bringing more consciousness, bringing more awareness so that we recognize um, uh, how the creation is happening. And um, the fourth is once you, um, once it's about thoughts, the other part is also about engage your feelings. So it, it means, you um, the the thoughts are one thing, but the feelings um, feelings are like the fuel in the like in a car, for example. So imagine your mind is like a car; it also needs fuel to, of course, to go <laughs> to uh, the fuel that fires up the engine. So the feelings are then the fuel for um, your thoughts. So thoughts plus feelings. So that's what they are trying to say. And in the next lesson, they say how you combine this again. So thoughts plus feelings plus, and um, you create this in visualization or pictures. And um, again, divine law here states that any image you constantly held up in your mind will materialize. And uh, there is no limit to this imagination. It's just the limits that we place on ourselves, and um, they they um, give us a tip to make mental movie of uh, how you how our daily life should um, 
um, reveal, for example, uh, before starting a day or before we want to, if we want to create something or materialize something to first create in pictures, like with thoughts, with emotions, and uh, of course, working with uh, divine law. It's not just, uh, it's not just visualization, but it's more like, um, it's more like positive visualization or even miraculous visualization. So another powerful, powerful uh, so lesson than to live in the present, of course, every master, um, the core message of every master is to live in the present. Um, and here the guides again remind us that the power to create or anything to uh, is lies in the present, not in the past, not in the future. Once you, we are in this uh, present, we we really change everything. We we can change the past, we can change the future by always uh, living in the present. So again, they uh, stress here much on mindfulness and um, awareness. Of course, meditation is always the common thread of all these messages. And um, then they say, of course, you have a lot of power. You you have the power to influence everything, but all this divine energy that we are talking of flows through you, but not from you. It's not like you are the only source that um, um, that is powerful and all others are not. It's more like you are an instrument for this divine energy to flow through you. And um, like they remind us, uh, be careful of the spiritual ego that uh, you are the most, <laughs> if you now recognize that um, uh, you are very powerful, uh, but it's also all the others because you and others are the same, um, all learning in this soul school. So they always say like, um, surrender to your higher self in the end to lead your life. And um, then, then comes, so lesson number eight is refine your reason which means um, they say um, thoughts, feelings, imagination is okay, is good, but also take care of your reason or the intellect. And um, this, the conscious mind, which is a small portion of our uh, total being is also important if you use it wisely. And uh, it's like a cutting knife that can really look into anything, but, um, be careful of this uh, of this conscious or intellect discern from discern everything and um, absorb everything without bias absorb your own life absorb others without coming into uh, immediate conclusions so they say like sometimes intellect is uh, yeah intellect is of course much more important as well it's not just the heart um, but also the head but again, this goes in balance. So he, they say like, absorb everything, but turn to your higher self in the end for final decision. And um, this also, you you all know this, the, the other soul this is follow your inner voice. And um, of course they say like, in order to follow the inner voice, you need to disengage from other voices, which means again, this is a nice reminder um, about meditation and inner journey. So to stop all the chit chattering of the mind and um, observe that still uh, inner voice within. And um, the, the soul lesson number 10 is open your heart. Um, so again here, they they really go in lengths about um, self love because so many situations in our life, so many experiences make our life uh, make our heart closed, um, such as like loss of loved ones or um, you know, several heartbreaking moments, and uh, where the heart is again closed, like you are not you're afraid of the new experiences. But then they, they explain that everything is happening to open your heart. So sometimes it's the pain um, which is giving the way forward for the new um, new experience or the next stage. 
so they say always keep your cheerful attitude and oh this opening up of your heart and they say like they give tips like uh, first always uh, take self care love yourself and um, observe the most like animals pets um, and also observe kids how open they are and how their heart is open and um, also like whenever a an event happens it's not it's very tough at that time but um, they say like view everything from higher perspective because in the end you are a divine um, divine immortal being right so everything in the in the end is like when you see from the higher perspective it's all kind of an experience so this is one of the hard lessons they also say like um, very hard lessons to master sometimes uh, personally i feel that opening the heart even after a heartbreak is um, takes time but again with meditation with um, with understanding we see the bigger picture and um the final lesson in the first part is um detach so sometimes you create everything you thought about everything and then they say this is a point you detach let the divine law work and uh, bring into materialization uh, because when you attach then too much to the outcome then um, you are not living in the present so you see like every law is related to to another and um the the point of power is in the present right and if you try to influence the situations just by thought alone um you are not living in the present and uh, you are associating with the mind and ego um and you forget that you are the divine being or the divine spirit so everything like if you of course we we went very fast but um they say just go through the lesson and uh, contemplate and meditate on this uh, wait for one week and um you again come with your own uh, illumination in this so yeah that's the first part if you are interested we can also go to second part otherwise we can uh, just stop here yes please continue okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> can part yeah please <laughs> okay thank you minachi so um so the guides first say okay once you uh, let's say once you are at the stage of journey man or must um, or ma- or mastered um in the phase of mastery of all these lessons now you completely break out of your let's say the egg shell or of this false ego then you are now you understand that you are the creators um and you are the, of course you also co-creators with the divine you understand that you are a divine being and uh, now you lead a, lead your life much much better and now they say the second stage is to go much further not just for yourself but also now uh, you connect to your higher self and this is what they say about the uh, part 2 um that the last half of these 11 lessons to become your best and uh to bring the divinity in you all the time and uh from here starts so lesson 12 um further expanding that um again this this is repeating <laughs> from what before like everything is in divine order and um this even breaks our view that um sometimes the war chaos destruction and um whatever you see as that we can't accept in the world it's also in divine order and taking this in would really mean uh, a lot of understanding um the ego or like when even from the mind point of view we can't take it we we see black and white uh, either good or bad uh, we really clearly distinguish but um or light and dark and um when you see from the divine perspective so something has to happen um because then th- that will lead to a new birthing of something so the creation and destruction everything has to be in cycles and um it's not just um a 
a complete heaven where everything is super happy. Um, again, they say like everything is in divine order, everything, this understanding um, must is quite important to uh, understand. Again, this comes through um, our meditation, right? When we uh, discover ourselves uh, from the higher self perspective and um, reverse your perceptions. So here, um, the guides mean to, again, if you, dis if you get something uh, in your life, so you need to reverse, you need to think um, back again could that be the reason really? And uh, try to come from different angles. And um, for me, I think it's not just um, from our mind point of view that we are trying to try thinking, think from different ways, but rather I understand this as uh, through our journey in spirituality, we get a bigger understanding. Like um, they, they tell, right, like when, you are in this uh, Sahasrara Chakra where uh, you can observe life from uh, so many different angles. So I understand this lesson from that point of view that uh, you will be able to reverse your perceptions um, because you can see a situation from all point of views. So a situation which is negative would be again a lesson immediately for you when you understand this. And um, then comes the very, very big lesson <laughs> to accept death. And um, here they really stress there is no death. And uh, they further expand that when you are the divine soul, you are here again um, to reincarnate again and again on this world, on this earth school to gain all the lessons. So sometimes you uh, the most challenges that you are facing are um, are the lessons to master. And once you learn the lesson, it is done and um, you will then uh, leave the plane and maybe you will come again. So once you master all the lessons, you, you will again start in another plane or another planet. So they will again say that um, accept death as a as a kind of initiation, it's nothing to be felt sad of. And when you are in this state, um, you don't need to be afraid of death. So that's what they're trying to say here. And um, and then of course, uh, the next lesson is embrace life steps. Again, telling that everything is a lesson. Um, take it, accept, accept what life is giving you as a test because there is something for you to learn it in it if you um, try to escape or if you try to use the victim uh, mentality, um, the lesson keeps on coming. So that's what they are telling. Like once you realize your divinity within you, uh, you will understand the test, why it is happening. And um, the further further they go about tempering your ego. Again, I, re I relate this lesson um, to the first part where um, you, you use, for, for example, like you, you use your intellect wisely. Similarly, you also recognize your ego. So this is like a self-check again. Um, am, I, am I acting from my ego point of view, like only just from myself, like me being superior? Or am I am I acting from the higher self, which is um, uh, inclusiveness of all? So they say, like, check yourself in daily life. And um, address your mistakes. Again, this is, again, um, a self-check. Um, that uh, if you think you, if you are going in a path that that, that is not planned for you, so address, so again, check thoroughly where you are doing this and uh, immediately correct this out. Um, sometimes we are so narrow and fully focused that we don't see our mistakes and um, there will be critics uh, because we are living in the society. So whether it's work or whether it's in life or relationships, uh, there will be critical comments. 
and um, then you have to be um, yeah embracing <laughs> these mistakes and checking again ah uh, yes i did this and what they told might be true so this is again a self check then um, this is very interesting lesson actually meditated so they say like two types of meditations one is uh, mindfulness and um, um, with awareness what we do also in meditation right observing our breath but um, they also say actively meditate where you um, you're creating um, you're creating a certain quality through meditation you are uh, i mean not just visualizations but for example you want to create that inner qualities and this is what like actively meditating uh, sometimes so they say not just observing but also uh, on the qualities uh, on the inner qualities to meditate so this is also a very interesting lesson for me um some they also say to bring the to to visual, uh, to bring the manifestation also use this meditative time so i see this is also a combination on one hand we are emptying our mind so that the higher um self or we are connecting to the higher self and uh, through this creative power we can imagine anything that we want in life so i see this is a comp- everything being related <laughs> and um yeah and uh, of course here they will again remind ourselves to love your body because your body is the most important vehicle that currently you have and um in the now in the coming last lessons they will just again focus on body mind spirit so love your body which means taking regular care of the body through physical exercise and um, also to to give the uh, to enjoy and uh, become aware of all the activities that you can do with this body and um regenerate your soul which means actually they also say like um th- these are more pra- practical some are very practical advices like um you you take care of um what what you like the most and um of course that doesn't mean like you involve into drugs or something else which makes you obviously happy for a short moment but um try to like uh, involve into arts or uh, something that really can open up um your inner being so that's what they say here to regenerate so it can be like therapies it can be meditation obviously retreats so they say like um these are the things that um, gives immense happiness to your soul or uh some passion or hobbies that you want to do and um then they remind us again so uh, to to shatter negative patterns so to truly master on this path uh nothing should be like your thought word and deed should always be in the same alignment and nothing uh, nothing negative so no negative thoughts or no negative emotions or feelings whenever something comes up you observe it and you shatter it so um i i like this idea also a lot whenever something comes up you you become aware and it's it's gone um again it brings you in the present moment to create so again this is very very related to every other thing and finally um waste no time so this perfect apt ending message waste no time and um we are in this phase of earth uh, where everything is now going very fast we are in, in in the information age and we are in the new age um we have access to everything and waste no time uh, in whatever we uh, pursuit we are in so that's the final message and um, again how to go next is when sonia asked her guides they told don't waste any time open your heart and um, they say like most of these lessons you only already know but it's just uh, putting everything together and you 
assimilate these ideas into your being. And um, yeah, I would say grab a copy of this book and go through it. It's a very, very, very powerful book. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening very patiently.